Hey people, what's good? I hope you had a great festive celebration. Right, so what's in this box right now? We're going to be checking out the Nike Air Jordan 1 Black Patent Gold Bad Boys. We're courtesy of my family from Black Box Store who are holding it down in Rome and Napoli. Doing great things. Yeah, Luca, I appreciate you. Right, this shoe here. Let's go back a little bit to 1985 when the Black Patent Gold Jordan 1 first appeared. Mythical, absolutely mythical. Rumoured to be the first friends and family release ever, and it was faked. So it's one of those most revered silhouettes and so highly prized by those sneaker connoisseurs out there. Um, I don't even know if I've seen a genuine pair in the flesh. Um, I remember going to Paris with my homie Collie, uh, 27, and uh, we checked out this um, store called Tokyo in the Marais and they had a, a sort of black patent gold pair within the sort of globe that they had on di in display on the center of the in the store. It was fantastic. Uh, we didn't get a chance to interact with the shoe, but that's the closest we ever got to it. Then in 2003, we saw a mid version, but it's all black patent with gold accents come out um, that sold out just like that. Then in 2013, we saw the closest reiteration to the mythical 1985 job. Um, 2013 in New York City, a mass, mad, mad, limited drop, um, which was absolutely beautiful. The only difference being between the original 1985 and, and the one that came out in 2013 was the gold speckled sole, but very, very close indeed. Now to these bad boys, which are just about to drop a black box store um, tomorrow, I do believe, we have got um, a sort of a flip on the... Uh, Kind of taking the elements of the, the, the 2003 and the 2013 into play. So let's check out the shoes, right? For me, these are hard body, all weather shoe, but they are just cold. But just look at that. The way the black paint and leather just like glistens, and then you've got the gold pops. Now, what's different from the one that came out in 2003 as a mid version is the fact this now has a gold collar this is a detail which is unique to this pair okay the shape of this is also unique as well because they've recrafted it this isn't quite the jordan 185 silhouette but still um this is the one that you know we've seen the mockers we've seen the, the balvins you know and all that kind of stuff getting the acclaim you've got the gold stitching right here sort of very reminiscent of doc martin's but the black and gold, what a clean look indeed, right? Yo, these are the ones that you can kind of wear with your tux. You go into a, a dinner, a soiree, you go into the nightclub as well, you want to flex or something. This is the look that you want to be popping for sure on your feet. But anyways, it's good to see this bad boy back because for me, it's one of those cold classics. It's, uh, yeah, it's definitely that Harlem look. It's definitely that, you know, New York pimp look. You know, you want to maybe marry this up to a double goose jacket or something like that. But either way, this is a brilliant look for winter. Hard body indeed, but also elegant at the same time. As I said, dropping at Black Box Store tomorrow. So check out blackboxstore.com for the, for the deal. I reckon he's just going to go just like that. So don't sleep. Anyway, you people, stay safe and have a blessed new year, right? One love.